Hi, it's Adam from Web Starts. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a mobile-friendly website using Web Starts. To get started, go to webstarts.com and click on the big Get Started, It's Free button. Next, choose a design that you would like to customize for your website. You can choose designs by category. For example, you can choose from business, online store, photography, so on and so forth. For this example, I'm just going to select this restaurant template, and then I'm going to enter my full name, my email address, and choose a password. Once you've chosen a password, click sign up, and then enter your phone number just to verify that you're a real person and that you're not a spammer. Once you've entered the code that was texted from you, you'll be able to move on to the next step. In this step, you're going to choose a web address for your website. You can choose either a free.webstarts.com address or you can use a top level domain name like yourveryownwebsite.com. If you do choose to use something like yourveryownwebsite.com, you will need to upgrade to a paid plan. So for this demo, what I'm going to do is select a .webstarts.com address just so that I don't have to pay anything. So I've chosen my web address, which you can do later if you want, and I click continue. Oops, it looks like my web address is taken, so I'm just going to select the option to choose that later. Now I'm on the Web Starts dashboard and I'm greeted with a short video that explains how to use the Web Starts page editor. Be sure to check that out if you haven't already done so. Uh, of course, I've already seen it because I made it, so I'm going to skip that and I'm going to jump right into editing my website by clicking the Edit Site button. That's going to load up the Web Starts page editor and that's where I can make edits and changes to my web pages. From the Web Starts page editor, I can begin working on the mobile version of my website by choosing the mobile editor view by clicking this icon in the top right. That gives me my mobile editor layout. But before I start working on that, I want to point out a few things. The first is that the way that you create a mobile optimized version is to start by creating a version of your desktop website that contains the right content and then we're going to strip out some of that content just to make the mobile version look a little bit better and that is actually my first point which is that a mobile friendly website is going to be displayed on a small screen so you're going to need to remove things that are maybe not super important from the view here you can see that I have a title that says big bold and beautiful font styles and then I've got a call to action that says click here those are essential elements of my web page, and so I would want to include those in my mobile view. So toggling over to the mobile editor, I can see that those things are indeed in view with the exception of the big button that I want people to click. Now, you may ask yourself, where is that big button? And in Web Starts, you're gonna find that under the hidden icon. If you click there, and then you click the little visibility icon next, to each one of these elements, you can choose to make certain elements visible or remove them from the mobile view. The next thing I'm going to do is select the font and I'm going to reduce the font size because that's just a little bit too big in order to require the person who's visiting the site on their phone to uh, not have to scroll to the bottom to see that button. So I just want them to see that button on what to do next right when they come to the page. So I'm just going to reorganize the way that that's displayed. I've got my nice big button right here. I've got my very clear and easy to read font, which is critical on a mobile device because of the limited screen space. I want to go ahead and extend the background image down here, move everything down just a little bit. Now I'm ready to save my changes, so I click Save. So a couple of things I want you to notice here. One, a very clear font size for the title, and then a very clear call to action that is big enough where somebody can just tap on that with their thumb on a mobile device. So keep in mind, whenever working with a mobile version of your site, 
less is going to be more. So you really want to take all the information that's displayed on your desktop site here and you want to condense it down to just the most critical information so that people are not overwhelmed on their mobile phone and also so they don't need to scroll down in order to see what to do next. A couple of other things to keep in mind on your mobile version of your website are that most mobile phones don't get as good of an internet connection as a desktop computer. When you're on your desktop computer, a lot of times you're either plugged into a network or you're at least using a high speed Wi-Fi internet connection. When you're on your mobile phone, you're probably relegated to LTE or you're re relegated to 3G or some similar wireless connection that just isn't quite as fast as the browsing that you experience when you're on a desktop. For that reason, you're going to want to make sure that you don't include too many images on the mobile optimized version of your web page. And you're going to want to make sure that if you have a large photo, for example, like the one that I'm using for the background here, that it is optimized for uh, or compressed so that the file size is as small as possible. I've already done that. Uh, so I don't need to worry about it for this demo, but it's something to be aware of as you're optimizing your website for mobile. Another thing to keep in mind when creating a mobile version of your website is that things like audio players that automatically play on a desktop browser will not work in a mobile environment. And the reason why that is is because uh, companies like Apple know that if, for example, you go to a website and the audio is playing in the background and you have it on mute, that it's just going to drain your phone battery. And if you don't have it on mute, then obviously it's just going to start playing in the background. You're, you might be um, stumbling around trying to figure a way to turn off that uh, audio in, a, in an environment that maybe is not appropriate. So they just found that to be a bad user experience. So she, they removed it from the ability for mobile devices. So just keep in mind that there are certain things like that. And also there are some idiosyncrasies with some of the video, audio and video players and things like that uh, on a mobile device. Another one that I've seen on mobile devices is that uh, fonts are not always displayed the same way on mobile devices. A lot of times the mobile device will have a different install font base than the desktop computer and so if you're using a desktop font and then you go to that same site on a mobile device sometimes it won't look the same so you'll want to make sure that you check your font on both a desktop and mobile device some things that are specific to the web starts mobile editor are again this icon where you can find elements that are maybe hidden you can choose to display them or not display them if you feel like an element is maybe not critical and you just want to hide it, you can do that. It's not deleted, it's just hidden and it appears under the hidden elements section. Under the design section is where you'll find a place to manage your background color and a background image if you want to apply one. And then under the manage icon, you can choose whether or not you want to display or enable your mobile view. So in some instances, you may just want a page to display the regular desktop view even if you visit it from a mobile phone and then in other instances when this is enabled it will allow the mobile optimized or mobile friendly version of that page to be displayed in place of the regular desktop view. Now once you've made all your changes and you've enabled this uh, mobile view you can preview it on your desktop computer uh, just by uh, changing the width of the browser. So I'm going to view the live website and then I'm just going to narrow the browser and then you can see that my mobile menu is displayed and you're seeing the mobile optimized version of my site. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you learned a little bit about how to create a mobile friendly version of your website. As always, you can send us emails to support at webstarts.com if you have questions or you can give us a call on the phone. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and enable notifications to be the first to find out when we release a new product feature or video. Thanks for watching.